Hey, Ives here. I'm going to teach you how to make a simple turret in 2D Godo. This system is a base for more advanced ones, and in fact you can use it even for enemy entities like robots as well. You can download this project on GitHub, the link will be in the description. And thanks to my buddy Spoon Sweet, who provided the turret sprites. He's a wonderful pixel artist, you should check him out, link is in the description. So, let's get to it! Here we are in Godo, and as usual, before we start, let me introduce what we already have. So here is our test scene, it's just a plain node 2D as our level. Then we have our player, it's a kinematic body, it's inside of a player group, and all it does is just moving. And then we have our bullet, here is our bullet. It has a sprite, a collision shape and a visibility notifier. Here it doesn't do any damage, all it does is just moving in a certain direction. And this direction is determined by the rotation of the node. So, without further ado, let's start working on our turret. Create a new node, it's gonna be a 2D scene, rename it to a turret, and now we need to properly set up our node tree. Here it is. Base sprite, gun sprite, raycast 2D, and a reload timer as a child of raycast. Now let's set up the sprites. For the gun sprite we choose the turret face, in the animation set the V-frames to 10. I'm not gonna use it animated, I will use the first frame. If you want to animate it, sure, go ahead, but it's not a topic for this tutorial. So, and the ray cast, first of all enable it and cast it to 250 by 0 and save it. Now our node 3 is ready. Let's create a script turret create and first thing of course we need to define the variables so here is our bullet packed scene then goes the target the target will be our player and our own ready variables now let's define the main functions like shooting and finding the target shooting is as you can see it prints poo it disables our raycast and it creates a bullet and starts the reload timer. So the state of raycast, so when it's enabled, it means it's reloaded and we can shoot. It's the way we determine if we can shoot or not. Here raycast disables, but then we start a reload timer and we will enable it once again when it stops. Our find target is just a way to find our player. It calls the level tree and get all the nodes in the group player and we get the player from it, which is the first and in fact the only node in this whole array. So now let's connect our reload timer, our reload timer, timeout, signal. And here we just set our raycast enabled to true. And by the way, I forgot that here we can change the wait time to 025 and one shot to on. And now we need to add the ready and the physics process function so it all works out. In the ready function all we do is wait one frame, so we just make sure that every node in the tree loads and is ready to be used, and then we find our target, which is our player. And in the physics process we check if the target is not null, in other words, if the player exists, then we determine the angle to it, we set our raycast to be pointing in this direction, and then we check. If the raycast collides with it, and it's a player, then we also rotate our gun sprite, and if we can shoot, we shoot. So, now, don't forget to set your bullet here, and save the scene. And we're done! Now go to test scene, instance child, turret. Let's place it here, and let's check it. Here we go. So that's it for this short tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and you liked it and as always, as we did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It was Ivesden, until next time.